Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia coming to you with another little experimento experimenting with just bits and bobs but mainly um, the paints today I am using is the Colour Art Prism Prism Pour, Prism Paints um, you will see uh, that I'll show you them in a little minute but for the base coat this is just my um, global impasto acrylic mixed with my normal pouring medium which you will find in the drop down box with also a link to a video that shows you how I make my pouring medium. Um, so I'm just testing out if I can use different uh, brands of paints with the prism paint and see how they turn out. So I'm kind of going to do like a uh, I will just let you watch what I'm going to do <laughs> because it never turns out um, how I have in my head. So it was a whole day really. I was just experimenting um, in the studio with different paints and uh, different consistencies. So this is what I was doing here was just putting these little mounds over the canvas um, in view to where I was going to put these colour art prism paints so um, yeah I'm just layering these and you everything will be self-explanatory and I will jump back in where I feel I need to explain myself As you can see, I got some lovely resulting results with that lacing just in that um, green colour. Uh, with I used black Floetrol, black Amsterdam paint mixed with Floetrol to cause that lacing. I blue that so that's what the little black um, container is. It's just got black Amsterdam paint with a little bit of Floetrol, just to the consist creamy consistency, I guess. So I was getting some really lovely results and thought whole painting just you could do in one color with the black would make just a lovely painting. So I might be doing that um, another day for sure. So I'm merrily going away layering that particular canvas and um that's the the amsterdam paint with black Flo uh, black floetrol oh gosh i've had a long day in the office i can tell you i've been trying all sorts of things and all sorts of mixtures today so i'll just let you watch along and see my results
Yes, and now I'm doing the wrecking blue. I'm doing the wiggles thing throughout the painting to give it, yeah, just a complete different look and a bit of interest. And I'm enjoying myself immensely. And then I will give it a spin and cover myself in paint, my shoes in paint and the floor in paint. Because no, I haven't got one of those little play pooly things that people seem to put their spinner in. So, but I just absolutely love this particular piece. I really do. Um, so I hope you do too. Well, there you go. There's my finished piece. I think I will uh, come down and show you how it all turned out, uh, a close-up of it. Um, but if I do not, then that's my finished piece and I do hope you enjoyed it. Well, it's certainly prettier than the first attempt. Um, look at the glimmer in that... Um, prism pour paint it's very um, lustrous look at the luster in it it's very nice look at that but that was better that time round um, I love just that bronze and black so I might try something in just the bronze and black but overall I'm pretty happy with that it's some um, wildly pleasant, wildly pleasant, <laughs> crazy me. Okie doke, I uh, hope you enjoyed that little experimenting with these prism paints um, and I will do some further experiments with them, absolutely for sure. So I hope you enjoyed that. Until tomorrow, my lovely people, please take care, stay safe create go and garden go and do something that gives you joy so until tomorrow bye for now